saw. Mercy. And we cataloged, we, we cataloged yes, yes. everything that we saw, we documented. Yes. And unfortunately, what you in the United States and the global community were being told by the likes of the press in this country was a lie. Come on now. And let me just say to you, it's not the first time because those of us who study our history, we know that the government lied about what it did to Marcus Garvey while we're still in black lives. The government lied about its attack on Malcolm X. We know that. The government lied about the murder of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We know that. And we know, how do we know? Because they were silly enough to write it down, and some of us were smart enough to read it. And we also know that part and parcel of those lies has been the special interest press, as I call them. <laughs> we know that because they have managed to demonize everyone that we look up to. That's true. Right. They practice the art of demonization. So you have heard the demonization about me, <laughs> and I used to take it to heart. My uh, mother still takes it to heart because it's very difficult to read something in print or to see something on the television or to hear something on the radio that you know is not your child. It is as dis difficult also when you understand that you don't have enough money to match the ink or to buy the airwaves in order to counter what they say. So the press, the special interest press, have done all of this and we know as much as we do know because at least in the December 1999 trial where the United States government was put on trial for the murder of Dr. King and a jury in Memphis, Tennessee found that the United States government was complicit in the murder of Dr. Teach, King. Teach. One of the expert witnesses testified that at least 30% of the CIA's budget was spent with the media buying journalists and buying media outlets. Mm. Now, if it was 30% in 1999, what do you think it is now? And we have a special office in the Pentagon dedicated to perception management. The press, those paragons of public opinion that we are supposed to look up to, Sure. like the New York Times, the Christian Science Monitor, St. Louis Post-Dispatch, they are named in the transcript by this expert. And they knowingly lied about Dr. King, about the civil rights right. movement. Right. They knowingly tormented the leaders that we look up to, whether it was from um, the black nationalist movement that was particularly targeted by the COINTELPRO program, the counterintelligence program, or the white radical anti-war movement, or the independentistas from Puerto Rico, or the Chicano movement, the American Indian movement, they all were targeted, lied about, lied to, and demonized by our media. And then in 2005, in Florida, a court ruled that it was okay, it was legal 
for the media to knowingly lie to us. Because of course they had to cover their tracks. Because 935 times, not only did George W. Bush and Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice lie to us, but the press knowingly reprinted those lies 935 times. They can't even be prosecuted for it.